grilled. No charcoal grills are allowed. I'm white. I got you, bro. Yeah, um, illegally selling water without a permit? On my property. Whoa! Hey! Third number. Give me your You don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, man. So a group of voters in Georgia are suing Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, saying that her involvement in the January 6th insurrection... Uh, she should get kicked off the ballot as a result. So it took her to court. Well, today she took the stand. And see, when you are a liar, Matt, it ain't never good to try to lie on the witness stand, especially when they bust your ass with the evidence. So this actually happened today in court. Ms. Green, you've had your disagreements with Speaker Pelosi. Isn't that right? not sure what you mean. You've had political disagreements with her. You don't agree with some of the things she's done in her career, right? Politically speaking, that would be correct. Right. You don't agree with a lot of things she's done, right? Politically speaking, that would be correct. In fact, you think that Speaker Pelosi is a traitor to the country, right? Uh, you're, I'm not answering that question. It's speculation. <coughs> you, it's you've, you've said that, haven't you, Ms. Green, that she's a traitor to the country? No, I haven't said that. Okay. Put up Plaintiff's Exhibit 5, please. Oh, no, wait. Hold on now. I believe by not upholding the, uh, securing the border, that that violates her oath of office. Fair enough. I'm, I'm not interested in her oath of office. I'm interested in that you said that she's a traitor to our country, right? I, I object, Your Honor. She is not. This is, I don't, I don't say the relevance. relevance. Oh, so then what happened was they actually played the video where it was like, uh, here, here it is, here it is. This is what she said. Uh, and then uh, they, she, they also uh, asked her about uh, liking you to a particular my comment question. on Facebook as it related to whether or not Nancy Pelosi should be shot. Well, check this out. And you're using a CNN article. I'm asking you to comments. answer my question. Did you like a post that said it's quicker, that a bullet to the head would be a quicker way to remove Nancy Pelosi from the role of speaker? I have had many people manage my social media account over the years. I have no idea who liked that. Okay. You're, are you testifying under oath it wasn't you? just want to be clear on that. I am testifying. I have no idea who liked that comment. Fair enough. It could have been you. And you're using a CNN article. I'm asking you to answer my that question. That was funny, Michael. All throughout today, uh, it was, I don't remember, I can't mm -hmm. recall, uh, all kind of stuff. Uh, it, here's when the issue of uh, peaceful protest uh, came up. Uh, watch this. And in your tweet, you mentioned earlier that um, your words, join hashtag March for Trump in D.C. on January 6th to fight for Trump, that you were urging people to come to Washington for a peaceful demonstration, right? Peaceful demonstration, right. absolutely. That, yeah, that word peaceful is nowhere in this tweet, right? Have a look. That word peaceful is I not in this read tweet. I can't it. There's only half of it there. Let's, let's get, give the representative a paper copy of that one. just want to make sure I'm no, not I missing. No, I can see it now. It was scrolled up just a second ago. Okay, Pe peaceful is not in there, is it? Um, well, you know, like... Is the word peaceful in there, Miss? Green? It does not say peaceful. That's right my there. question. But Thank you're you. asking me, and I said for a peaceful demonstration, just like people have the right to do in their First Amendment. I, I'm asking, you didn't. There's not a secret code in there that's supposed to be peaceful, right? Well, I never mean anything for violence. I don't support violence of any kind, and I've said it over and over again. So I, I'm telling you. You just didn't say it on this occasion, did you? I never mean anything for violence. Every, all of my words never, ever mean anything for violence. We'll, we'll examine that question. Go to I mean, it was question after question. Matt, this woman is a straight-ass liar. Mm -hmm. Straight-up liar. And in Georgia, you can get up to 10 years for lying on the stand and up to a $1,000 <laughs> fine. So, I mean, she opened herself to, to perjury charges which is extraordinary, particularly because the really important context of this testimony is that it comes in light of some of her own citizens 
challenging her ability to seek office because of her involvement or I guess support of the January 6th insurrection. So it seems like this would be the time where if you're facing your challengers, you would realize that the writing's right there. You got the receipts. Go ahead and admit it. Um, but as you see, she's trying to spin, as we know, Republicans like McCarthy did and others have done. <clears throat> I, I, I got to play one more, Michael. I got to play one okay. more. Okay. Watch this. Now, you've actually talked publicly about the Declaration of Independence calling for the overthrow of tyrannical governments, right? That's something you've discussed publicly. Are you referencing to something I've said somewhere? Well, do you recall talking about that topic? I've talked about the Declaration of Independence, but I don't know what occasion you're referring to. Okay. Um, well, one of the occasions where you talked about the Declaration of Independence was in connection with January 6th, right? I don't know. Okay. Let's go to um, plaintiff's 15, please. Bussin' a lie, bussin' a lie, bussin' a lie. I felt hilarious, Michael. But today, and uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene makes dumb blondes look like road scholars. Number one, this is how stupid. This <laughs> is. Two, two, two. This is dangerous because she's a sitting member in the House of Representatives mm -hmm. now. The case is based upon uh, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, 1868, which was put in uh, during the Reconstruction era, and it was targeting those uh, members of the Confederacy, and it bars anybody who uh, participates in a rebellion against the country or insurrection from holding uh, elected office, federal office, things like this. So um, – Hopefully they're successful with this. Now, now this this has never been uh, tested in court. This is the other thing. OK, this this section of the U.S. Constitution has never been tested in court to keep somebody from uh, holding public office. But if they, if they are successful, there's a lot of these domestic terrorists, insurrectionists that they need to go after as well, which is another reason why these Republicans have to be defeated in the 2022 midterm elections and in 2024. Kelly, she also said in the witness stand, I did not talk to anybody at the White House about any of the events on January 6th. Ah, except she posted this. <laughs> Just finished with our meetings here at the White House this afternoon. We got a, had a great planning session for our January 6th objection. We aren't going to let this election be stolen by Joe Biden and the Democrats. President Trump won by a landslide. Call your House reps. Call your senators from your states. We've got to make sure they're on board, and we already have a lot of people engaged. Okay, stay tuned. Mm, you ain't talked to nobody at the White House. But your dumb ass put a video out At the on January 5th saying we had a great meeting. Right. Kelly, I, I, I'm telling you, she just a barrel of laughs. 
I wish I had the confidence of a mediocre white woman such as Marjorie Taylor Greene. I feel like I would go really far in life, even further than I already am, which is, you know, moderate. But I feel like I would I would be moving like mountains at this point if I had that kind of that that kind of hubris. Like it is, it is astonishing to me how you can lie with a straight face as though we do not have receipts. I mean, it's the same thing with Kevin McCarthy, as if you are just so sure that no one is going to find out the truth, that you are willing to put yourself in such a compromising <laughs> position such that you literally cannot be trusted and you run the risk of going to jail because you lied on the stand. It is just... I, I just wish I had the 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 gall and the 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 gumption of it's, a mediocre white person. It is absolutely it, it is, it, hilarious. It's, wonderful. it's absolutely hilarious to me. So we got lying Kevin McCarthy. We got lying Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, I, oh, and I I forgot. I, I got to go ahead and just show this here. So you remember when that crazy fool Republican uh, Cawthorn out of North Carolina, Madison Cawthorn. Right. A, a, accused the Republicans of having orgies and he said they said all kind of stuff and man they were just you know um, um, uh, doing all kind of crazy all kind of wild and crazy things and what he was invited to and he was just shocked and appalled and then later he tried to backtrack well Politico just dropped this story uh, while we were on the air uh, here's Madison dressed up in lingerie at a free party <laughs> No! <laughs> this is the dude in the wheelchair, too. He's in a oh wheelchair also. <laughs> He's in a wheelchair as well. Hey, you might as well just roll you your ass on off the stage, man. Just resign. You got to warn, you gotta warn us before you do something like that, man. Come on. Hey, hey. Come on, man. I told y'all they just released it. So I mean, I'm just saying. So Hey, expose uh, all these traitors. Expose all of them got pictures. Expose all of them. I'm I, all for it. I'm just saying. Tell that again, man. I'm all for it. I'm Expose just saying. These are domestic terrorists. We have to understand this inflection point that we're at in history. This is a continuation of the Civil War and, and the continuation of the, of, of the Compromise of 1877, which ends Reconstruction. So and then go back to the story about Florida. Florida was the first state to have poll taxes in 1889. They were the first of the Confederate states to institute poll taxes, destroy, break their political backs, destroy all of them. I, I'm just saying. Yeah. Birds of a feather flock together. They all have pictures. The, the humor comes in the ga in the gaslighting too, because what they do is they say you didn't see what you're looking at, <laughs> you, you didn't hear what you heard, you didn't see what is on video. So I mean that's the hubris to use Kelly's word, which I think is the most perfect word. Is it's extraordinarily arrogant to assume that people are just going to overlook what they're looking at, and that's what Republicans keep continue to do. I think trying to leverage this idea that. You know, everything is a liberal conspiracy or what have you. Like, nah, you said it. But th this is at the same time where they're trying to target pedophiles with the fake QAnon conspiracy theory. And then these domestic terrorists went after Judge Katanji Brown Jackson uh, because she was the one who con who convicted the uh, the shooter who shot up the Comet Pizza uh, place in Washington, D.C. in 2017. She sentenced him to four years in prison. And he was tracking down this Internet conspiracy theory about child, uh, about uh, uh, child uh, uh, um, uh, uh, children being kept in the basement of the pizzeria and molestation of children, things like this, Hillary Clinton, all this stuff. All this stuff is connected together to break their political backs. Got a comment, Kelly? Oh. I could have gone my whole life without seeing that. My whole life. <laughs> I I don't kink shame. I, love is love. All of that. But I could have gone my entire life. That needed to come with the trigger warning, Roland. I don't. Hey, that I, was, I mean. That was mean. That was mean. Um, <laughs> but the hypocrisy of it all 
is is what's getting to me because we we're coming we're looking at the legislation in for, Florida about the don't say gay we're looking at you know, Republicans attacking critical race theory that's not even in schools in the first place. We're looking at the mm -hmm. Supreme Court that is, you know, gearing itself to strip away the rights of the LGBTQ plus community. And then you have a differently abled man in semi drag enjoying his life as if you are not part of the party that is trying to take the party away from you. I just, to, I just want to show y'all. I just want to share it with y'all. I just want to share it with y'all. All right, y'all. Um, we gonna end on that note. Uh, really? <laughs> Kelly, man. All right, folks. Back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, fam. Patrol Grooming. That's right. It's a men's grooming company. That delivers on this promise every day to men everywhere. Everything we do, every product we make is designed to help you to present your best self. It's a promise they've kept since 1991 when they first introduced the Bump Patrol brand, the number one men's product for smooth, bump-free, shave, and silky skin. Millions of customers count on their exceptional skin care products, which can be found at more than 30,000 retail stores in more than 50 countries around the world. Now you can have exceptional beard and skin care products that are as unique as you are. Fellas, as we prepare to head back out into the world as COVID restrictions are being lifted, it's time to get our groove back. So visit www.patrolgrooming.com to order Patrol Grooming Box and use the discount code hashtag Rollin30. That's hashtag Rollin30 for a 30% discount at checkout. Folks, be sure to support those that support Roland Martin Unfiltered. That includes Patrol Grooming. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Like, Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Uh, thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roland. I love y'all. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, there's a difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?